I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. Uh, in this session, I am going to discuss the importance of earthing and uh, how do you calculate earth wire. And also, I will be giving an overall idea about earthing. Without earthing, what, what is going to happen? And how to overcome the like uh, issues with respect to shock. You know, earthing is one of the personal safety mechanism. First, we will understand what is earthing. You might have seen these kind of diagrams. You might have seen uh, this kind of installation in your houses, building, etc. So now we'll be talking about what do you mean by earthing? The definition. So earthing is nothing but connecting the metal part of the electrical devices. For example, the appliances like a fan, fridge, etc. to the ground using a wire that is actually called the earth wire. Non-current carrying metal part will be directly connected to the ground. So it is done to protect the people from electrical shock. So suppose in case anything goes wrong, there may be like a current flow through the metal body. So if I like directly touch what will happen, it will directly pass through my body, I'll get shock. To overcome that, we are going to provide a separate earth wire such a way that in case any fault current is happening inside the metal part, it will be directly passing through the uh, particular uh, earth wire. In spite of passing through my body, it will be directly moving through the particular wire and the uh, entire fault current will be directed to the ground. So that as a human being, so as a person, I'll be protected. The person, person those who are operating will be ensuring the protection. That is the purpose of earthing. I hope you understood. Yes. So moving further, so let's understand uh, the overview of earthing in the greater details. So earth wire is is a, type, a special type of wire that connects outer metal body of the device to the ground so that it will ensure personal safety mechanism. It gives the electricity as a safe way to flow into the earth instead of passing to the person so that the person those who are operating the device will be 100% safer. Major objectives of earthing is number one to protect the people from the electrical shock. So if a person touches the faulty device, electricity safely goes to the ground. Another one is actually to prevent the fire risk. Faulty wiring can cause the spark of wire. Earthing reduces that risk. Another one is to protect the electrical system, to keep the machines and appliances working properly and prevent the damages. These are the major objectives of earthing. I think you understood. Yeah. Moving further. How do you determine the size of earth wire? We discussed already uh, the size of earth wire. So while selecting the earth wire, it should be like uh, very clear that while you are choosing the earth wire, make sure that it should be like, a, uh, it, it should have very less resistance. Resistance should be as minimum as possible so that uh, like uh, the conductivity should be very high so that more fault current will be directly passed to the ground. The size of the cross-sectional area of the earth wire or earthing conductor is selected based on the safety standard to handle the fault current. So it should not be getting overheated. That is another one. And also it should not cause any other fire hazards also. These are the major conditions you need to take care while choosing the earth wire. That you have to remember. So there are uh, like uh, generally whenever you are purchasing, whenever you are going for an installation, we will go for this thumb rule. Here for a normal domestic use, for example, uh, if a phase wire is 1.5 mm square, Earth wire should be 1.0 uh, millimeter square. If the phase wire is you are using like a 2.5 mm square, especially uh, like uh, uh, for like a heavy load application, the earth earth wire will be 1.5 mm square. Suppose if you are going for like a motor or any other very heavy uh, like extra load, at that time what you are going to do is you will be using the earth wire for the size of 2.5 mm square. So these are the standard thumb rule which we are going to apply for the general installation. So we never go for a further detailed calculation because uh, for the like the contractors and all, they'll be directly uh, using this uh, chart. They'll be applying the thumb rule based on the experience and they are going to install. But uh, to be frank, uh, this method is not uh, exactly right. But if you want to go for very high accurate, let us go for the formula. Okay, formula based method is very high accurate. Uh, but for the time being, for the practical situation, the first method uh, normally people are adopting. Uh, but however, there, there may be some inaccuracy. To overcome that I act, like inaccuracy, we'll be going for like a formula-based method. So the like uh, the size of the wire, uh, like a cross-sectional area. So we'll be like, we are mainly computing the cross-sectional area in terms of millimeter square. That you can calculate it by using the formula. Yes, yes is nothing but cross-sectional area of the earth wire. That is equal to square root of I square T by K square. What do you mean by I? I is nothing but the fault current in ampere 
uh, where t is nothing but duration of the fault because the time duration also matters a lot time duration will be measured in terms of seconds and k is nothing but the material constant that depends on the conductor and type of installation so i'll be showing a table based upon the table you can select the value of k so it varies with respect to the material so we'll be having a good idea about the material science as well so let me show you how do you select the value of k with respect to the material Suppose if I am using a copper, then value of K should be uh, 2, 2, not, 2 not 5. If I go for aluminium, it will be 1, 1, 1 to 6. K value should be 1 to 6. Suppose if I go for galvanized iron, GI, GI or steel, galvanized steel, I will be going for K is equal to 80. So K will be depending on the material. So for example, for the fault current, I is equal to like 2 kilo ampere or 2000 ampere. Fault duration is 1 seconds. So... Uh, conductor is copper. If I choose a copper, I will be selecting K. Therefore, the uh, like uh, area of cross section of the wire should be like uh, I square. I square means 2000 square into the duration of fault will be 1 second. That means 1 divided by K square. What is K? 205 because I will be choosing copper. Ultimately, I will be getting like uh, 9.75 uh, milli millimeter square. So, uh, 9.75 we may not be available. We may not get so, we will be approximating to 10 millimeter square copper wire. For the earthing installation, I will be, be choosing 10 millimeter square. So, this is the way how to do the uh, calculation for the selection of uh, earth wire. So, it is an accurate method. However, there are like a calculation difficulty. So, common people cannot do it because for engineers, whenever they are going for like designing, at that time, this equation can be used. But for the normal people, they will be going for the first method which I suggested you. So, this is a normal people, they are going to use this thumb rope. However, uh, the, uh, you might have understood the both the method to how to select the earthing conductor size. Okay, so for the design and uh, design uh, and installation of earth wire, you can you make use of this content. So uh, in this session, I discussed about what is earthing, uh, how earthing will ensure protection for personal uh, like a like a human being. I mean the personal safety. Uh, and uh, I discussed how do you calculate the size of earth wire by using the thumb rule as well as by using the standard method. If you please the video, kindly like this video. Also, uh, hope the video, if the video is very useful to others, kindly share with your uh, friends and colleagues. Also, I request you to give the comments for my uh, improvement of the presentation. Also, don't forget to subscribe my channel for getting the similar kind of video. Thanks for watching this video. I wish you happy learning. All the very best for your examination. Thank you.